You know what my mother used to call me? Dangerous. You're a dangerous girl. She was right. I am dangerous. Women would kill to look like this. They carve and stuff and inject themselves. They starve to death, hoping, praying that one day they'll look like a second-rate version of me. Communion After Dark.
you are dealing with here. A religion, a cult, not just a passing fancy. You are listening to Communion After Dark. It is December 11th. Welcome back to the show. And uh, you just heard my set, I Am Mouse. And that last song you just heard was Zenturion Prime. The song was Bulldozer from their new album called Humanity Plus. Pick it up on Progress Productions. All right. Prior to that, Mouse played fourth song in her set was Sea Lector. And that was brand new from their album Out of My Way. The song was called King of the Underworld. 
You can currently pick that up on DWA, and they also offer that as a double CD, so go buy it. Yes. Good, good, harsh electro music there Love from C Lecter. The double CD is nice. It comes in a nice little book. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, yeah. I got mine in the mail the other day. And then we heard brand new XRX with a song called There Will Be Blood. And that's from the Fire or Gasoline and Fire CD out on Pro Noise. And uh, before that, I played Bloom, B L U M E, with the song Blackening. Uh, that's the original version. Uh, this single is called Blackening, and you can get that on Wax Tracks 2, and you can find it on Bandcamp right now. And then I started out with Grendel, with the song Fall Like Rome, from their Age of the Disposable Body release, and I played that off of the deluxe version, which you can get on Infected Recordings. Um, you can get the non-deluxe version on Metropolis. All right, and now we're going to do our shot of the week, and we got guest DJ Winters in here as well, doing the shot with us. Uh, this is a banana root beer it's like one of those uh elvis shots banana root beer but we gotta we don't have like uh what, what else was on his sandwich oh peanut butter what? just need some peanut butter in this shot is um baby paradise doing cheers shot? Oh, okay, no she's not <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs> cheers so drink get yeah. drink banana root beer that's it that's all that was in that that was delicious that was tasty that was good i get behind that all right so, DJ Winters is here, as we mentioned. Yeah. Oh, and Gemma <laughs> likes that too. Gemma's excited. She's excited she just for said, DJ she just Winters. Said, yeah. She will be up in a couple of sets. Yeah. She's like, wait, well, yeah, right. Miss uh, Winters will be up in a couple of sets. Not. Yeah, Miss Winters baby will be up in a couple of sets. Not. Not Baby Paradise now. <laughs> and then, in two weeks, come back for our year-end shows. We'll be doing two weeks worth of best of shows um, for your listening pleasure. And also, hopefully, for you to give you some reminders on what came out this year. So maybe you can go back and buy the music and support these bands. Because there's some great music that came out in 2017. And then our last show will also give you our top ten albums of the year. We've already gotten a few people who've been sending in their lists. So that's kind of cool as well. And we'll go over some of those later on. Uh, I'm excited. And the tracks the that we almost play, over, thank God. the tracks we play on this year-end show may not necessarily be from our top albums. No, but that's all right. It's just some of our favorite music we're playing on the show. We're yeah. excited. Gold's back doing the shot. He's like, "Is there more?" They're really, really good. Really I'm good. gonna lick mine yeah. too. And then um, just one other announcement before we go to the next set, which I will be spinning Paradise. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> you said that like Yoda. Woo. All right. <laughs> and then Saturday, January 6th at the Crowbar, WMNF Dark Wave Showcase featuring Lilith, Reality Asylum, 31G, Joy Division cover band there. Um, also, of course, South Florida's own A Starry Night, which is assigned, uh, they're signed to Cleopatra Records now, so that's yeah. pretty awesome. They've moved up in the world. And myself, I will be there spinning a little bit in between the bands. Uh, advanced tickets are $11, so make sure you pick up your advanced tickets. Uh, you can also get them at the door if you choose, and they are $13 day of the show. That, again, is a WMNF event, which is a local station here in Tampa, Florida. They've been around for a long time. Decades. Another show that does a podcast called Dark Horizons actually started on WMNF back in, I don't know what year that was. What year did they start, Was it Tom? like 1990? It was 25 years Five? ago. 25 years ago. Wow. What is so that was 1992 they started. Yep, yep. Yeah, a long time ago. They're now a podcast as well, so check them out if you're interested for some more goth industrial alternative indie music out there. Um, that's about it. I don't have anything else to say right now. I was going to say that I'm looking forward to our Starry Night coming back to play in here. Um, I saw them last week in Miami. Yeah, Michael Ghost. Michael. Doors are at 8, by the way, for that thing, if I didn't mention that. All right, I will be uh, starting off with Ice Fabric. Come back. All right. This is Kate of After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Paradise.
you feel an ache of pain You will only have to call my name When the flood of water comes And the deep breath in your drowning lungs When you feel the rising storm I will hold you like my first newborn Yeah. 
We're back at Community After Dark. You just heard my set. And that last song was by a band called Damsel in the Dollhouse. That was sent to us by Nina, who is the singer of Damsel in the Dollhouse, Nina Dove. 
She is from uh, Montana, I believe, currently. Um, but that was her song called Vamp on the Dance Floor. Pretty cool song there. Vamp on the Dance Floor. And that was off of her brand new album called Provocateur, which is a self-release. You can pick that up on Bandcamp. Make sure you go out and purchase that and uh, support her. She's a very cool girl. Check out her page. Um, that was her fifth album released under that uh, name, so... Definitely worth checking out. Is, is that like a verb, like to, to go vamp on the dance floor? I don't know. I'm I gonna, like it though. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try next time I go out. I'm gonna try to vamp on the dance floor. You just let me know if I'm doing it right. All right, cool. All right, and before <laughs> that, um, Paradise played Zynek with the song Neon Oblivion, and uh, that's the David Burdick remix. Do we know who David Burdick is? Yeah, he's the guy from Talking Heads. No, rare fracture. <laughs> rare fracture. Rare fracture. I'm sorry. Rare fracture, dude. All right, all right. Um, from the Neon EP, which has a lot of spectacular remixes on there, from Zed's Dead Records. All right, and then we heard the new Saint Paul, the song called Purity, from the album Three, or Triple I, out on Infected Recordings. I I I I I I. Brand new Saint Paul. And then prior to that, I played VDOC with their song Ingle, which was featuring Project Caretaker. Uh, and that was the Ice Fabric remix of that track, which you can get on the Ingle EP currently out on KL Dark Records. Really cool. Um, I never heard that band before, but what cool track for? they put out. VDOC? Not sure. Vamp Dance. There's also Rob Dust uh, remix on there and um, a couple others. So pretty cool. Uh, I like that track. Um, and then prior to that, I started off with Ice Fabric as well, which was off their brand new album, Null Kelvin. The song is called Brother. And oh, brother. that is on No Cut Records. Definitely one of the better albums that's come out in December, to say the least. Or whenever that came out. Great album. I think it was late November. November, it came out. yeah. November. November 24th. All right, so we got some comments to read this week. And then we'll split them up because there's a large amount of comments here. We got a comment from Keith Mall, who said, Brilliant as always, Paradise. I got off my ass and shared the show. Cool. Thanks, Keith. We appreciate you sharing the show. Of course, it's a Paradise comment. Of course. Hey, he said, cool. Good job. He knows. He knows his shit. And then prior to that, uh, all right, prior to that, <laughs> we also got a comment from uh, Anakin Mortensen. Anakin is uh, Skywalker of Star Wars fame. Yeah. And he said, found you guys about three weeks ago between new shows. I am catching up on everything I missed. Been sharing your guys on multiple platforms. Have a wonderful night. He goes by Midnight Elf. Wait, or Anakin? When you have a name as cool as Anakin, why would you go by Midnight Elf? I don't know. I like Anakin. Uh, also got a comment from Spencer Semkovich who said, since you requested my top three, he gave us his top three unexpected out of nowhere because I thought they were done albums. I'm not really sure what all that meant, but that's good. His top three were OMD, mm. Gary Newman, and Mind in a Box. Whoa, good yeah. Good choices there. We played all of those this year. Yeah, good, but good choices. He's got some good taste in music. And he said, an honorable mention to the Atomic Blonde soundtrack and movie for being a great history of our roots. Also, I love the new empathy test to close out the last show. Wow. Cool. He just pleased everybody in this room. Yeah, Gold loves all that stuff. Gold loves OMD, Gary Newman, the Atomic Blonde soundtrack. I like the mind in the box. Gold, you could the, chime in uh, anytime. Well, the movie was good, too. And Mark nice Roberts gold. in the back likes the empathy test. <laughs> yes. The mind in the box. That's right. And the mind in the box. Yeah. Also got a comment from Angela Colcock. Who said, always a great set list team. Thanks for filling my year with awesome music. She said, the D.C. area is starting up a new goth industrial synth pop night what? on December 9th called Vanguard. All right, I'm coming. I looked forward to making lots of new music requests from your show. Awesome. Cool, Angela. Push the new music. Push it. <laughs> Especially on those DJs. Make sure they play it. <laughs> We also got a comment from Peter Grunewald who said the opening set is just amazing this week. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did he say? Oh, wait to make my day. Yeah, thanks, Peter. I appreciate it. And last comment we're going to read this week, or right now in this set, I'm sorry, was from Maria Pakaev who said, My 
Way from Work was great with this set. Thank you, Maria. Awesome. Uh, and next is DJ Winters, and she will be starting off with a new song from... Silent Runners. Silent Runners, come back. Winter is coming. Winter is coming for him. Winter is here.
Say goodbye to this depressing
You're listening to Community After Dark. This is DJ Winters. You just heard a hollow connection with Human Eyes. Uh, that's off the album Metropoli. They are an Italy-based band. I actually played that song because that was Mark's favorite song on his birthday CD. So it was I, pretty sweet. Yeah. He told me I should play it on the show, so there you go. Uh, before that, I played the Red Dots with Blurry Thoughts. That was off the High Waves EP um, that you can find on Bandcamp that's self-released. Uh, their previous release was way back in 2015, so you may have heard them before. Same mistake. It was a really good song, so a lot of us have been just waiting for this to come out. Before that, you heard Halad, uh, We Are Eternal. That's a self-release, self-release on SoundCloud um, and... Unfortunately, I don't know very much about this band, um, but he's been around since the late 90s doing music in several music projects that was kept secret. Is it Halad or The Halad? No, it's just Halad. Halad, okay. Like Hodor. Pretty much, but it's Halad. He's from Northern Italy. Really good music. Don't know much about it, though. Uh, Silent Runners, Caveman. The Kill Shelter remix is what I started, but I set out with... A Silent Runners album actually came out yesterday, and doing research, I noticed that there was a drop, a band that was actually promoting the album that did a remix for it. Uh, so if you buy the album for nine euro on Bandcamp, you can actually go to Kill Shelter's site and get the remix that I played for free, um, because it sounds nothing like the actual original, but the original CD is, is amazing through and through. Uh, his voice is amazing. Um, so that released yesterday, and the Kill Shelter remix released on Wednesday. And that was my set. Oh, we get to call you Miss Winters now. It's not Mrs. Winters. I know, I'm married. And by the way, I, I did tell my husband I was going to give him kudos for introducing me to the band Atalio Connection, which he did, which I think is amazing through and through. It's kind of uh, pet shop boise in a really weird way. It's a very fun Italio disco Band. Which, by the way, she's married to. Uh, oh, that's right, I'm Carlton, which is Mike one of Carlton, our other guest AKA DJs. AKA Bushes, AKA Sumatra seventy one, ah, AKA yeah. my my cave bear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ms. Winters. All right, and uh, so here at Communion After Dark, we have changed into women. We have in the studio DJ Vane and DJ Winters and DJ Mouse. All the hot girls in the land. Yeah, we're the view. <laughs> 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 Mr. Paradise is looking at Baby Paradise right now, who's screaming like a banshee in the back. But all right, so uh, just a little update from DJ Vane. So I want to give a shout out to someone who was out on the club in Friday. Uh, he was wearing a Community After Dark shirt, yeah! so I had to go up and give him a drink, more like shove a drink in his face, be like, "Hi, I'm gonna give you a drink." But yeah, shout out to was it Michael? His name is Michael. We don't have a last name yet. We didn't get to those terms. So, uh, yeah, wear your Community After Dark gear. Show up at the castle. We will find you and give you drinks. We'll give not you in that drinks. order. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So, from Twitter, we have Random Guy with handle did 2016 Keep up the great podcast. From Jordy... The Forge? No. Jordy Cormo Misa or something. I'm going to call you Mimosa. Jordy Mimosa. Okay. Thanks so much for your music sessions. On Instagram, we have DJ Delcro. Decro. What else do our hearts beat for? Which was a nice comment. Everything else was uh, about the model that you picked. So people loved that picture. Really? Yeah. Last week's model was um, Froxanne from The Frozen Autumn. So I want to use more models, in quotation marks, who are from the bands that we play. Uh, Because that's just easier to work with, you know, all kinds of people from all kinds of countries. She's gorgeous. I have a picture in my dining room. Yeah, shout out to people who comment with emojis. Yeah, eggplant, eggplant. All right, going back to music, we've got (laughs) Tom Tom Gold is hiding in the corner. (laughs) All right, you want to let us know what you're going to play? Yeah, we're going to hear a brand new Ruined Conflict.
Welcome back to CommunityAfterDark.com. I'm DJ Tom, and you just heard I Varden Sphere with a song called Red Sun Black from their latest release, Hesitation, out on Metropolis Records. Ooh, before that we heard Noir with the song The Burning Bridge, the Dakota Feedback Mix from their Reburning EP, which is a bunch of remixes of the Burning Bridge song that you can get on also on Metropolis Records. Digital download only. All right. Prior to that, Gold played Faderhead with the song All the Devils, and that was off the brand new Night Physics album, which you can get on his own label called Not a Robot Records. You can also purchase that on Bandcamp. And then I started off with brand new this week, a new Ruin Conflict EP. The song is called Rise to Babylon, and that's the system version. And that's from their new uh, Farewell EP, Hopefully Not, and that's self-released. All right. Is that why it's called Farewell? You're saying goodbye? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think so. No. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. We should ask him. Anyways, Gold, good job. All right, so our year-end shows are coming up. Keep that in mind. And we're going to... rear-end show. Year-end. <laughs> rear-end shows. Two more weeks. We'll start our year-end shows. Rear-end shows. I like that more. Rear-end. <laughs> we, I've called you that the time. It's our rear-end shows. Good job, Tom. Rear it's our rear-end show. <laughs> All right. So, um... Before we go, we got some co- donations this week, which I definitely want to um, highlight. Do we have a we donation? We appreciate very effects? much. I don't know. Do as you, you have one, Mouse? You, uh, yeah, as you mouse, dump mouse. your drink over Whatever. on the table, as you slid it on the table. Who cares? <laughs> All right. So we got monthly donations from Stephen Arquita, uh, Wade Anderson, uh, Michael Hornshuck, Jason Walter, and Jill Polynesia. Mm. Or Polyansia. Um, and thank you to all of them for donating again. Each month, we appreciate it. We also got a donation this week from Chris Martin and Neil McCombie, who said, got to say thanks for all the great tunes and for giving me a guiding light into the synth EBM dark wave stuff. Many thanks. So cool. thank you, Neil. Thank you, Chris, for donating to the show this week and helping out. And we appreciate that very much. And um, also... We got some uh, comments um, this week about people were mad ab- or they were agreeing about the dubstep, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there were there were for and against. Yeah. So I, I think I mean, that people can have their own opinions and they, whatever. That that's fine. Some guy said it was ballsy that he said dubstep step sucks. Well, there's nothing ballsy about it. I don't like dubstep. He also mentioned that it was what took EDM into the mainstream, and we don't have anything to do with EDM. Nothing. Sorry. Zero. For EBM. <clears throat> you could look it up. There's but anyways, it doesn't matter. It's just an opinion. You can like dubstep if you want. I could care less. I actually like it. It's also like how much I hate Birkenstocks, but yet they brought back the Bohemian lifestyle to everybody. <laughs> the Jesus look. So, I mean, you know. Jesus that, look that's, is that, in. That's all your, your, your deal, man, not mine. You want to look like Jesus? Wear your Birkenstocks. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We, we, or, or, one, or one of the hippies that were uh, went to Woodstock in the 60s. Jesus well, actually, Christ. They, 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 had, they had no clothes on, so you just got to take your clothes off and put your Birkenstocks on. And I then, think he was there. I think that's how he knows so much about it. No. The senator told I, me he was at Woodstock. Oh, my. Yeah, I know one person who was nowhere near Woodstock. <laughs> the little, the, you, the little you, kid in the corner over there. <laughs> she wasn't. That uh, she might have been conceived. No, no, it been can't even that. Just even have that. Well, sure, Mouse. Yeah, she was conceived. No, and wait. She was okay, born, so like, my math was a little later. off. Wait, wait. So no, like maybe her parents met at at Woodstock and then they conceived her. They decided like, like seventeen, 17 years, years later. later. No, it was it's more more of a CNC music it factory. Sixty nine, right? So, um, Gold, you're finishing off with something cool, right? Perhaps. Oh, and, and thank Winters, but, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, thank you, Mama Misa. Yes, Where? thank you, Winters, for coming back and doing a she, cool set for she us. Blew, she, blew, she blew out of here like the Winters that she is. That's right. All right, Gold, so what are you finishing up We're with We're going to hear now? some... Uh, Mesh actually has a new classical release that they've done, and they're doing their version of Just Leave Us Alone, and that's from their live at the... Oh, how do you say that, Mark Roberts? <laughs> live at Neues... Givandis House Leipzig. There you go. And that's out on Dependent Records, so stay tuned. All right. Come See back next week, next week sure for our last good. regular I'm show. Sure. Goodbye. Oh, yes. That was good. Yeah, that was yeah. actually really good. 
She, she, wanted, oh, she wanted one. She ain't getting one. <laughs> Let's com- communion after day or communion, communion after, after daycare. Baby. No. Communion after daycare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>